If you're thinking it's been a while since you've seen me and I've seen you, (laughs) it's because it has. It's been a long while. We have been dealing with tennis season that has been going full force for spring and finally there's a lull and um, I'm coming with one of probably my favorite types of videos and that is a Dollar Tree haul. So today we're not going to do a a my usual shop with me and haul. Instead, I'm just going to show you the products that I got because I got them on different trips at different stores, but I wanted to share with you the things that I've gotten and maybe tell you how I plan to use them. And make sure that if you're not subscribed, you subscribe right now because after this video, I will be showcasing how I'm using the items in future videos. So let's get started. Go ahead and get started with these. They are polymer clay beads. You get 110 and they are so cute. I just, I think they remind me of little donuts and I got the three colors. So I got the black, gray, and white. This one that has like kind of like different types of greens and browns, and then this one that has brown, pink, and white. So something that I wanna note here is, um, you know, I've talked a lot about looking outside of the box, and I would definitely do that with something like this, even as much as to say the color. So this color combo might not pop, but when you stop and think about it, that you can use the browns, for one project, you can use the pinks for one project, and you can use the whites for another, then it opens up a lot more possibilities than if you were pairing them all together, if that makes any sense. So sometimes when you're going through a store, don't look just at what's appealing the way that they have group them together, but look at it as separate pieces in how you can use them. So we will definitely be using these. Something fun that I picked up was this little tin, and it's a Mickey Mouse, and it's a metal tin, and I thought that this would be really great to put some of my watercolors in. You could also use this, you know, obviously for storage. You can put, I mean, pretty much anything in here. You could put scissors and your stapler, like if you wanted to have a little mini kit for journaling outside for nature journaling this would be really cute but I thought it was so adorable I kind of am kicking myself that I didn't get more I think they had like one or two more and I should have picked them up because I think they're so cute which leads me to I so I also picked up these tins so these were little activity centers for kids and so but I thought these would be really great altered tins like how you see the Altoid tins that that get altered and I thought these would be great so I picked up two in this size and then two in the smaller size and this one actually has a little puzzle inside and I grab both of those and so you can kind of see a theme here i i love anything tin and old and i think these are going to make a really great project i also snagged these little bags that they're just little you know maybe makeup bags you can use them for whatever you want i love that the bottoms are flat so they can sit on your desk so If I didn't want to have a lot of supplies on my desk, I could just put maybe a pair of scissors, my stapler, and a pen or pencil, and that would be perfect to have sitting on the side. What I also love is that it's made out of like a waterproof type of fabric, so if I do take it out with me, if I'm out, and I spill something, it doesn't matter, or same with on my desk if I have paint or anything I'm gonna wipe it off pretty easily and I got one of them for me and one for Lex and I'm not sure originally I actually was gonna keep the green one believe it or not I think because I have tennis on the brain right now so um and she loves pink too so I think this will be hers 
never seen this product before at Dollar Tree. I'm curious if you've seen it before. They had several colors. I think they had a pink that was lighter than this and then um, this hot pink. And so you're getting um, 60 by 60 inches. I think this is a really great find for $1.25. They, this is a great piece that you can layer underneath um, projects. You can make bows out of it. You, It's really versatile. I love Tool because of its transparent properties. So... I mean, this is a lot of fabric you're getting, especially for the money. But you can see that it's pretty see-through. So if I grab one of my little booklets that I have here, you can see it adds a little bit of color. But depending on how much you use, you can definitely make it more opaque or less opaque, however you want it. Um, tool is always really great to have on hand. And I was really happy to see that they had um, brought this. Something else that I got is um, sometimes I'll go in the book section and I will look for books. This is the way that I would do it. I'm not looking for the book dependent on what the words in the book are. I do, however, like the cover, especially because on most projects I would be taking the spine off and so I don't really care about the blue necessarily but I love this black but then the other thing that I really love is the shape and the size of the book I think that this is a great size for an altered book and if you wanted it a little smaller you can actually make this into two books and then you know the possibilities are endless you can use the book pages as we have we can coffee dye them we can alter them and so much more plus you can actually make this into an altered art journal and i have a video that i'll have linked down below where i've done an altered journal with a different type of book but it'll give you an idea of what you can do with this so these are always really great finds um, and also i find that my thrift stores don't really have books for less than a dollar. I remember being able to go and get books for 25 cents and, you know, stuff like that. And sometimes libraries have sales of books that they're going to get rid of or, you know, throw out and they'll price them really cheap. But I have not seen that in my area. So this is a great alternative. I grabbed these cutting dies. We've talked about cutting dies on this page before and trying to use them with a rolling pin, which was not a great idea. At least it didn't work for me. I know other people say that it does work for them, but um, it did not. But if you do have a die cutting machine, then I think these are really cute. They are edge dies, and so you're getting three to a pack. And I think that these designs are really cute. I think these are really versatile and, I mean, a really great price at $1.25 and you're getting three dies. Um, you're not finding that at Joann's anytime soon. I went ahead and picked up some staples. Most of the staples I have right now are the small ones. And so I wanted to get some others. You guys know what I'm gonna do with these. But I actually have an idea where I started messing around with some staples. For some of you that didn't really like the idea of rust or were like worried about using it where you're, you're inhaling it, you're touching it. And so we are going to be doing a project for this. Again, if you're not subscribed, this is a great time to do that. That way you get notified anytime I have a new video come out. And I'm gonna show you how we're gonna distress these to look kind of like rust without having to have rust particles in the air. I had to jump on the bandwagon and grab these stamp sets. I think that there are a few more that are in circulation that I did not pick up. I did pick these three up because I thought these were the best ones for me and for what I would use them for. So, so you can see. So these are the let's see if there's a number on them for you there's the item number and then these are 
like foliage stamps. So it's all leaves and this pretty kind of leaf pattern as well. These are really great for backgrounds as well as you can use them to stamp and then fussy cut around the stamps and use them on your pages. So sometimes if you, especially if you're just getting into junk journaling, you don't have to feel like you need to have all of the ephemera if you can't. This is a great alternative to make a ton of ephemera with just one sheet of stamps that's $1.25. I'm going to say something that might not be popular. <laughs> I am not a huge fan of sunflowers. I don't know why. I think they're really pretty and I I love that they are attracted to the sun, but that's as far as my obsession goes. I know like there's been times where sunflowers are like all the rage and they're on clothing and stuff and maybe it's the color combos that get put with them, but um they're not my favorite, but I'm going to tell you what I'm going to do with this. So again, it's kind of like those where if you see something that doesn't catch your eye at first, sit with it for a moment and think of alternative ways you can use that. And first, I want to go ahead and give you the, the item number. The reason that I gravitated towards this set was for this little... I guess it's kind of like a label box. That's what I would use it for, as well as this really pretty script. So, um, and of course, the these are very easy to use. You can use them the same way as these that we, we talked about. I think any floral is really easy. I probably won't use the planner, but um, I think it also makes a really great ephemera piece, especially if you're doing a journal that's, about gardening or springtime or you know um, anything to do with flowers or anything like that so and you guys know I love flowers so and if you get any of my kits then you probably love flowers too and this would be a great addition so these are really great and then the last set that I got were these which are also florals and these instead of being foliage they do have florals on them or flowers here is your SKU number. And these obviously are just very beautiful and have just really lovely photos or images, I should say. And I think these are very versatile. If you could pick up all three of these or even more that they have, I think this would be a great way to get started in junk journaling and again you can make so much ephemera you can mix and match you can put let's say these little foliages behind something else and then just layer them and i think these would be great if you'd like to see me use these and uh, stamp them out and then show you how i would use them leave a comment down below and um, let me know Okay, we are getting to the end. So a lot of times when I've seen Dollar Tree brushes for painting, they're not the best quality. They're not that soft or smooth. And honestly, sometimes those brushes are really good if you want like scratchy lines. But if you're looking for something that is more smooth and soft, this is a great set. Here's your barcode. And I'm gonna show these to you. Look at how thin that is. This is a great brush for detailing. This is would be a great brush for adding script to a page as well so that you can get those nice fine lines. And then you can kind of see here, this is a synthetic brush, but it's pretty nice. And what I like about flat brushes is that these are great for adding a lot of paint in one, one stroke like this. That's kind of what they're meant for. They're the, the wash brushes. And so this looks like it's a three quarter inch wash. And this is a, I don't know what that means. A 10 out of zero. I've never seen that um, round. So I think this is a really great buy. And then the last thing that I got from Dollar Tree 
is this little bag. And if you think I'm gonna use it for storing things, you're wrong. <laughs> I'm not, I'm going to use this for something else. And I'm really excited to start using this and show you. I've literally had this in my room for at least a month, maybe longer, but I wanted to film the haul with you before I start the project that I'm doing. So definitely stay tuned. You're not gonna to wanna to miss this one. So this is the product and this can be found over in the section in my Dollar Tree. It's the section that has like the scarves and then the bags. They have like little backpacks and stuff and it's a faux pebbled leather and it's a really pretty color too. I believe I've seen it also in pink. So if you're interested in that. So that is it with my Dollar Tree haul, but I did get a couple of other things. I ran over to Harbor Freight and I got this foil tape, which I'm gonna be doing a project with that I'm super excited about. And it's not a dollar twenty-five, but it is a really fun purchase. And um, again, I think you're gonna really like the project. And then the last things that I picked up were from Daiso, which it is kind of a Japanese Dollar Tree, so to speak. Everything in the store is a dollar seventy-five, I believe. But I got some stamps, and these are really cute. I love anything with numbers, and anything tiny is so cute. So this is obviously meant for planning, but. If you guys are like me and you have the goggles of the junk journaler on, then you can see this would be really great for backgrounds and for adding some really awesome details. Now, they do have some, and I'm not sure, if you know what language this is in, then let me know down below. I'd love to know, but I think it's very pretty and I think this would be really great for a background. The other one is also a little planner um, set and these are so cute like these are adorable and you know these might go for my planning stuff but I absolutely love this little note card with the holes punched out. I think this is really cute. I could just envision a lot of proje projects using just this stamp alone, as well as any of these. And again, they're all buildable and you can layer them. And um, I'll probably, if I do a video showing the, the stamps, maybe I'll do all of those. And then the last thing that I got was this little planner. If you have a Daiso and you've never been to a Daiso, please go into your Daiso. And what I do wanna say is most of their paper products are just lovely. I wish this was like a feel that you could feel this, but let me, I don't, I don't even know if it would make a difference, but this is just regular copy paper or um, matte cardstock. And I'm gonna just so you can hear the, the difference. And then this. It's just very smooth. I don't even know if that'll come out on camera or not, but it's very smooth. It even takes watercolor really nice. It almost has like the slightest coating. It's really great. And so I'm going to use this for planning, but I did want to show it to you guys in case you do have a Daiso and you've never run in and you are maybe inspired to do so. So that is, oh, wait, I almost forgot. I did pick up, and unfortunately these are probably no longer in Dollar Trees, but I did pick these up during um, Valentine's season. I know they're hard to get your hands on, but I did wanna show those. And the last thing that I got were this poker set, and this was in the Gate Kids game section and I know I've said this about a couple of other things but this is the one that I'm most excited to try out. This may be the first video of the set that will come out because I'm so excited about these and I hope you're excited. I have so many ideas on these but I think you're going to want to run and get these and as far as I know these are a 
like a staple item. I've seen them all the time at Dollar Tree. So I hope that you can find these. So anyways, I hope that you were inspired. I hope that um, it gave you some ideas of things to pick up. And again, remember when you're going into Dollar Tree, instead of looking at it as, oh, it's messy or I can never find anything, stop and think about it like you do Target. Go in with your favorite beverage and just take your time and just slow down your thinking, take a deep breath and just enjoy the moment and look through everything because there's always hidden gems, hidden within the shelves as we've seen before. So I hope that you have a blessed day. I'm so thankful for each and every one of you. And I just want to say that I have missed you so much and I'm excited to be back and can't wait to share more with you until next time. Bye.